To achieve a carbon neutral society, offshore wind farms are seen as a very promising source of power generation. The NYK group as a whole has committed itself to contribute to their construction site surveys, parts transportation, installation, maintenance, and operation. NYK's new endeavor is to operate a crew transfer vessel in Ishikari Bay, Newport. By the end of 2023, 14 wind turbines are set to be installed in a sea area of approximately 500 hectares offshore Ishikari Bay in Hokkaido. A crew transfer vessel, or CTV, will be used to safely transport workers between the offshore worksite facilities and the onshore base. The construction of the CTV began at a shipyard in Singapore in June 2022. The vessel was completed in early April 2023. Owned and managed by the NYK Group, it will be chartered to Siemens Gamesa, which operates and maintains the Ishikari Bay Newport Offshore Wind Farm. Of course, the first Japanese vessel that we've sold is the Reira Ash. Overall, we are quite happy with the, uh, the performance of the vessel. We wish NYK great success with the operation of Reira Ash. We're very excited about the future of offshore wind in Japan, and we hope to support NYK in the future. Thank you. On April 8th, the CTV was loaded onto the heavy lift carrier Kifune and set out on a 10 day long sea journey to Japan. But first, let's take a step back in time to March 15th. A naming ceremony for the new CTV was held in Tokyo. The vessel was named Rara Ash. Rara Ash means wind blows in the language of Ainu, the indigenous people of Hokkaido. April 19th, 2023. A uniquely shaped ship arrives at Tokyo Bay. Another smaller craft can be seen sitting on its deck. It is Kifune a heavy lift carrier operated by NYK Bulk and Projects Carriers. The newly constructed ship loaded on Kifune's cargo deck is Rara Ash, the crew transfer vessel for the Ishikari Bay Newport Offshore Wind Farm. The arrangements for its transport from Singapore to Yokohama were handled by Yusen Logistics. Yokohama Port, Honmoku Pier, Rara Ash is about to be launched on the waters of Japan. At 9.30 a.m., using Kifune's crane, Rara Ash is lifted off the deck and carefully lowered into the water over the course of one hour. The ship's long journey is yet to end. Towed by tugboats, Rara Ash departs from Honmoku Pier. But where is it headed? After about three hours of sailing from Honmoku Pier, towed by the tugboats, Rara Ash reaches the Opama factory of Keihin Dock in Yokosuka City. Rara Ash will now be dry docked to complete formalities to be reflagged to Japan and for the equipment replacement. Its flag will be then changed to Japan after the ship is approved by a flag state. Next, after conducting sea trials at Keihin Dock, the ship finally set sail for Hokkaido's Ishikari Bay. June 27, 2023, Ishikari Bay, new port in Hokkaido. The crew transfer vessel Rara Ash finally enters its home port. 
Operated by the NYK Group, Rara Ash will be responsible for the safe transportation of workers to the offshore wind power generation facilities to be constructed two kilometers away from Ishikari Bay, Newport. For the NYK Group, which offers marine and comprehensive logistics services, Rara Ash marks a new venture. It is an aluminum catamaran equipped to European standards. The ship is designed to sail even in the rough winter waters. It can achieve a maximum speed of up to 25 knots, which is roughly 46 kilometers per hour. In preparation for commencing operation, a training was held from the day of the ship's arrival. It was conducted by a captain dispatched by the NYK's Swedish partner, Northern Offshore Services. Visible in the distance is a wind turbine jacket. The next day, on the 28th, local officials and media gathered for the CTV commemoration ceremony. The ship's bow, which will press against the wind turbine's bumpers, is fitted with the Northern Offshore Service's high grip fender. It will contribute to the safety of workers during transfers. The onboard lounge can accommodate 12 workers. The seats are designed for both safety and comfort. A shock-absorbing structure has been used for the cabin to provide better comfort. The ship's bridge is equipped with the latest equipment, and each of the four engines has independent rudders. When approaching a wind turbine or the port for docking, the ship can be easily controlled with a joystick. At the commemoration ceremony, Ishikari City Mayor Tatsuyuki Kato expressed high expectations regarding the role of Rara Ash in supporting offshore wind power generation. We are strongly committed to offshore wind energy. This long-awaited entry into the CTV business is a crucial milestone for us. We aim to use Rara Ash as a foothold for further expansion into the wind energy business. Rara Ash, with its home port in Ishikari and NYK, will continue their efforts and strive to create new value.